I'm Julie, the overlander next door. Come on in, the water's nice. We are walking and talking to our hot spring. Walking and talking. Taffy, don't trip them. Don't trip me, Taffy. It's kind of cool when you're camped right by a hot spring. It's like you have your own personal bathtub. Yeah, hello, everybody. Gorgeous, gorgeous hot spring. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, this look nice. I'm going to do a cannonball. Woo! <laughs> Just kidding. It's not quite that deep, but it's probably our deepest one yet. Rigs are all the way down there. Beautiful sunset. Gorgeous hot spring. <laughs> Phil's over here, he's ready. I'm trying to line up my, my jump. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and the water came all the way from up there, from up to the mountain. Only about 50 feet though, 100, 100 feet. So we're gonna hop on in and hopefully, well, not hopefully, we will enjoy it. <laughs> oh yeah, it's pretty enjoyable looking. <laughs> So we're going to reach in there and grab it. Ready? Here starts the drain. And there it goes, guys. It's draining out. Woohoo! Just try to stir it, stir it like the ground. Yeah. Like um, soup. Oh, that's what you're doing. I see. He's paddling the stew around. Mixing up the cauldron. Tonight we will boil chicken noodle soup. A massive quantity for all the land. <laughs> it will be a feast. <laughs> <laughs> Out the hot spring to try to make it cleaner. Look at that, that's so cool. So it, how it empties out like that, I love it. We decided to take the time to completely drain the hot spring and clean it out and try to get it as clear as possible you know as it sits it kind of builds up like a sludge on the top and on the rocks so we wanted to basically give it a refresh so we could sit and soak in this fresh clean water and so that's what we're doing in this little clip right here getting it all fresh and clean for us look how drained it is look at that you saw it ow 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 it's really hot because it's fresh you saw it last time isn't that cool this is like so awesome how they have that set up. So awesome how they have it set up, guys. Hot spring is so beautiful. Look at the sunset inside the hot spring. Hallelujah. Isn't I will that jump. Yeah? I will jump. <laughs> it's so pretty, though. Woo Ooh, it's hot. Here's another angle. So, so beautiful. Just amazing. It's places like these that just make me realize how awesome this lifestyle is and being able to find things like this or have friends that recommend places like this and you're just able to come out here and enjoy it. So I, I just absolutely love it. It's amazing. not very often you get to find a spot like this where you're able to just sit back, relax, and enjoy everything around you and take in just these gorgeous sights, these gorgeous sounds, and just <sighs> take a breath and breathe and relax and really just realize what is in front of you. And it's just amazing this life we live. and. The experiences that we get to experience in this world. Living this lifestyle has really shown me that there are so many things out there that I wish everyone could experience at least once in their lifetime. And it's just amazing what the world has to offer us. This is real hot, yeah. right? Experience what I get to experience in my lifetime. 
It's something I never thought I would actually be able to do. And now here I am. <laughs> Chilling. This is a high one. Yeah, this is a nice one. It's wow, we can really get in there. I can get my mullet in there. <laughs> Although it's not really a mullet anymore. It's so long. Yeah, I gotta get a haircut. Long. Yes, you do. But oh, geez, I've worked up some sludge from the bottom there. <laughs> He's worked up some sludge, guys. Uh-oh. <laughs> Look how long his hair is, guys. It's Look how long, long it is. <laughs> Julie, hasn't, Julie hasn't cut it yet for me, so I don't know what to do with it. I don't know how to cut hair. You can do my <laughs> a moment with me to sit back, relax, and appreciate what the world has to offer us because it truly is something amazing. So what just happened? Oh, we got dive bombed by a bunch of freaking bats. <laughs> and then of course, we're like, ah, and you're screaming because you're a girl. <laughs> and uh, I think, yeah, we think we decided they were attracted to your screams. Probably. I mean, they were pretty loud screams, though. I mean, those bats were dive bombing us like within feet from us. Yeah. That was scary as there was one time where I had a big, whoa, like, and he, I swear. Literally, like, inches away. Scary. <laughs> and that made me scream more. Sketchy. <laughs> Sketchy. <laughs> I don't know, bats like hot springs. We were sitting right there, right at that rock, and they were just, whoosh, dive bombing us. And I'm sitting there going freaking, ah, ah. And of course, that's Yeah, that was as quiet like, as your screams were. No. <laughs> they were louder. They were louder. But yeah, the bat was probably attracted to that because it was like, shoosh. That was scary. Yeah, that was kind of weird. <laughs> that was real scary. I was <laughs> like, oh, we're fine. Oh, jeez. Like, I'm, don't worry I'm about screaming. it. <laughs> I'm screaming like, get me out of here. I don't want to be in here. And then it dive bomb and I, ah! <laughs> uh, that was scary. In the morning time, we were awoken from the sound of coyotes in the distance chatting with us. The warmth of the morning sun was a reminder that it was a start to a new day, and adventures would soon await us. The wild Kota dog rose around in the grass to mark her territory as she claimed this camp spot her own. Twist and shake, twist and shake. Come on, come on, come on, come on, I want that coffee, yeah. Give me that coffee, come on, we're working on it. Quit eating cow poop. Cereal's good without milk, but it's best with milk. Oh, it's still recording. Science. Maybe you recorded. I knew oh, you'd God. give yourself way more, I knew it. <laughs> that's all there is, babe, I didn't realize that's all there was. <laughs> Should we make some, put some coffee in it? Ugh, <laughs> I'm kidding. Can. Maybe some water? Ugh. There's no milk left. Ugh. Terrible. Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you stay in a spot for so long, you run out of stuff. Ugh. It's so dry. <laughs> <laughs> we can't do pancakes. We can't spoil ourselves. We can't do it every day. I mean, you can spoil me. Yeah. But we can't spoil ourselves. Mm -hmm. ah. Give me. I must be having an SD card error again. So dry. <laughs> Yeah? Oh, yeah? Nice! Oh, yeah, that was gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Dangerous stuff out here. <laughs> <laughs> we got our paper towels back and we can use them for something. They're not as clean, <laughs> but they're not destroyed. We're not just throwing <laughs> these away. Even camp, guys! Yay! Phil's getting turned around. We're getting ready to head out. Woohoo! Camp salt was pretty nice. We stayed here for about five days. We got to soak in the hot spring almost every single night. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, until next one, see you later. Bye, guys. <laughs>
I love my life. And that's where she'll go.